Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex Martinez and welcome to the latest episode of Collector's Corner. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing a toy that's probably my favorite to date as far as action figures go. I really truly don't want to open it. I know I said the same thing about the Optimus Prime in a previous episode, but this one I don't want to open. But I think this show is therapeutic for me as well because I have to open it. I have to review it. Uh, I know a lot of you who probably own this particular toy, probably, or I should say action figure, excuse me, uh, for anyone who owns this probably hasn't opened it. I'd say at least 50% of the people who own it haven't, uh, unless they have a few. Uh, it is something to army build with, kind of like the AIM soldiers, but uh, this thing is really, really hard to find. Can't find it anywhere, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us. I mean, they do sell them there, but unless you're... Uh, you work at night and you have your days free or you work from home uh... it's hard to find them uh, you know everyone has people who, you know friends who work at target or walmart i don't so i just have to hope whenever i hit one of these stores i could find it but i had to have no luck so i did have to uh, use the internet and i ordered mine through bigbadtoystore.com and i'm talking about the all white six inch stormtrooper from the black series it's by far the coolest looking thing I can't wait to open it at the same time I don't want to open it but I'm gonna I plan on getting a few more to go with the Boba Fett uh, but I, the Boba Fett it, it, that doesn't even intrigue me the way the Stormtroopers do they just look cool I'm willing to trade a lot of things for these Stormtroopers even the rare stuff because I really really think they're gonna look dope I mean I collected maybe a hundred of the three and three fourth inch figures over the years, and I'd give them all up just to collect the Black Series. I just like the size. It's just the uh, the sculpting, the articulation. I'm just a big fan of the Black Series, and to be honest with you, I kind of read off a lot of Star Wars. Um, I bought through all throughout the years, you know, and I was just it was all just different cards, same stuff, and sometimes even the newer uh, lines would be uh, less detailed or look like shittier than the ones from the early 90s even so i was kind of done with buying a lot of star wars toys <clears throat> especially uh, a couple years ago but once uh disney bought lucas and they came out with the black series man they great move great move i'm moving them to a, a bigger size and re-sculpting them and i'm a huge star wars fan don't get me wrong i love the movies uh the first three uh, and then a lot of the, the, the later uh, prequels were, uh, some parts were good, Darth Maul and stuff like that. But um, I'm I'm excited, man. I am just like, I can't wait for all the new movies to come out. Uh, they can't do any worse than George Lucas did. So, you know, especially if they're going in the same direction with the movies that they are with the toy line. That was a smart move. It was a simple move, and I didn't even think about how simple that would be. Hey, we do Marvel Legends. We do all our six-inch figures. We own them now. We own the rights. Let's move them up. Great move. And enough of me talking because I'm really excited. I can't wait to <laughs> to open this thing. And at the same time, I kind of like I'm nervous. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the stormtrooper, the all white from uh, New Hope. I think it's wave three, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Um, let's see how badass it really looks. Just to give you guys a quick look at my. Uh, black series mounted on the wall here you can see there's a stormtrooper uh, right there <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys that I actually have it all the way going to the top and I actually have to remove uh, up to actually Batman Wonder Woman uh, boomerang what the fuck's his name I forgot his name I gotta move them all just to get to the stormtrooper I can't slide them out I got them tucked in with some tacks but I can't move them so uh, that's how serious I was when I meant that I wasn't going to open them. So just give me a minute. Let me uh, move all those figures and we could start with the review. And there he is next to Han. I can't wait to open them. One thing I did want to mention that the box is collector friendly like they like to say. It does open up and you can take it out and slide it back in and close it. And yeah, technically, um, you know, as long as you take care of everything, it's cool. I mean, but... So I guess I'm a little exagger exaggerating just a little bit, but you know, I do, like I said, I do like some stuff on open, but this thing, you know what, man, I just, I can't wait. Let's get this thing open now. Check it out. I don't want to get too excited and ruin the box, but there we go. 
this is actually the first black series I've opened. So, yeah, I'll never even opened one. Cool, comes the little, eh, it's not really a really diorama, just a graphic of the box design. Let's throw that off to the side, we don't need to see that. Keep this, I'll probably put it back on the wall, display it later. And here we go, man, look at that. <laughs> that is very, very bad. Let's take this guy out. I don't even want to ruin the... Hey, you know what? He's going to stay out, so who cares? Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's cool, man. Oh, sorry. And he's white on white, so it's a little hard to see. So let me uh put something in the background and get a better look at that. And there he is, number 9, the Stormtrooper from the Black Series. Uh, I think there's a total of 11 figures that are out so far. Uh, he is pretty much the same mold as the Sand Trooper, except uh, this one version is much uh, all clean, all white, which I love. Doesn't have the shoulder strap, the orange one. You know, I'm a big fan of the Sand Trooper, but this, the regular Stormtrooper, just looks so much cooler. I can't wait till the Vader comes out, have him with a cut. Hopefully, I have about five more of these. I'm thinking six. Might be the limit, depending on um, how much, how many I could find, and how many I'd have to uh, pay a little more higher for. Uh, the box is typically the same as all the other ones. You know, get the little graphics there. Pretty much the same design. I mean, if you don't know the Black Series, then I feel sorry for you because the Black Series is very, very cool. Uh, especially the six inch. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the three and three fourth. Haven't really looked at them. I, I see them in the store and I just look for these. Um, and if you're like me, all you're finding lately are a bunch of Greedos and Leas. Uh, and if you find this guy, you get super excited like I am. And I kind of want to keep talking because I'm still hesitant on opening it, but it's time to open it and see how cool this guy really is. Real quick, he does come with two guns. This is also the one that the Sand Trooper comes with. But to be honest with you, this is the only one I'm going to be posing with. Because that's the only one that he uses in, uh, that this uh, style uh, Stormtrooper uses in uh, Star Wars A New Hope. That's all you see the white ones with. And that's actually my favorite. So let's get that one out. This one I'll probably just leave in there. I put the black around them in the background so you could really see the difference. Uh, the posing is great. Um... I really, really like the way he poses. He's got great articulation. Let's leave that back there. Hopefully, you can still kind of get a good look. Uh, his knees bend pretty well. Double jointed, which is kind of cool. Uh, his ankles come all the way down. He doesn't have to pivot, but that's fine. His, his thighs come up pretty good. Has a little bit of a leg split. He does grip the gun. He, I love that his hands are molded to grab this gun, kind of like in the movie. Kind of like when he's coming at you. So that's pretty cool. You know, arm movement, pretty good. It's got the, the elbow, comes up nice. Little wrist, the hand. You know, the, the, it's just pretty good. Pretty good detail. Pretty good paint job here. I mean, uh, the design there. That's where the, I think for the mold for the Sand Trooper, where you could put the backpack. Um, you can put the holster, I mean the gun, excuse me, in his holster. So that's pretty cool, man. Perfect fit. And then you would put the other gun in his hand. You know, I might as well get it out so we could take a look at it. I want to see what that looks like. Here he is with the other gun. And you know what? It just doesn't look right. I just don't like the way you could hold it. It doesn't fit in this hand very well. So we're going to toss that because that's not what a, a Stormtrooper carries. That's the one he carries. And that one, he just looks tough. It actually fits in his hand even better. Uh, so, yeah. Posing pretty cool. Man, this guy's cool, man. I'm glad I opened him. I knew I was going to say that once I did. He actually is a little top-heavy. Now I'm really getting to notice that. Let's see if I could bring him down a little. Bring his head down, make him look a little cooler. Kind of like he's confused, like in the movie. But yeah, I'm realizing I'm having some trouble posing them. Look at that though, man. That's cool. That is cool. Can you picture like three on this side, three on that side? Because I know I can, and I can't wait to get them either. Great detailing. Kind of like the Sand Trooper, like I was saying. He's got a good diaphragm right there. It's got some detail that goes up. You can miss a little, but he bends pretty well. 
You know, it's got the little uh, tube back here. I forgot what it's actually for. I used to know it. I don't even remember anymore. You know, but overall, man, this figure is cool. I'm still surprised that I opened it. I'm kind of sitting here like, ah, but I'm happy. Kind of the way I was when I um, opened um, Batman or Origins. That one was that one was pretty pretty good from Arkham. So there's my review, man. I highly recommend getting this thing. I give it nine out of ten, and the only reason I don't give it a ten because he is a little wobbly, you know. But I don't care. I'll figure that out later. Um, I definitely recommend them, and like I said, they're going up in value, but you know what, um, they might re-release more, uh, who knows, um, they're definitely going to be coming out uh, in this series with clone troopers and all types of different, I mean, they have so many characters to keep coming out with, so, uh, if you don't get it on the first wave, you might get it later, and then, um, other ones might come out that you could get, buy doubles of all the Black Series if you're really interested, because what I've been doing is, Finding what I can, buying doubles, and just trading. So hopefully this will be um, one of many that I have. And if I do, I'll post it on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, so you could ch uh, check it out. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Collector's Corner. You can catch us uh, on YouTube, uh, ComicsRemix.com. Uh, also Instagram. Uh, I'm there on Shaitan Cylon. Um, one word. So, uh, yeah, uh, leave your comments and your feedback. If these guys have a toy that you think uh, you want me to review or that you think might be a good uh, topic for a show, definitely let me know, man. I'm open to suggestions, open to ideas, and I will see you on the next episode. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.